right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday. All right, guys. Now, we are live on Reebok Fit Hub Gas Lamp uh, Facebook page. So we're going to give all of our viewers that are used to watching us Monday through Thursday on the NXPT Facebook page a minute to transfer over. And while we're doing that, let's talk about what you need and who you're looking at right now. Over here, we got Trainer Ryan in the house. We got Trainer Sam, we call her Sammy Sparkles or SWAT, and then Trainer Hannibal Smith over here. Now what you're gonna need today is a dumbbell and or kettlebell, something that you can curl or tricep extend feasibly, and then also something that's heavy enough to make a squat or a bent row challenging. So Trainer Ryan's got a couple of assortments here of dumbbells and kettlebells, and then he's got a platform, he's gonna use a chair. Sammy's going to be using a box, and Trainer Haney's going to be using free weight. So no matter how many resources you do or don't have, we can make this workout happen, okay? Now, Monday through Thursday, every single day has an individualized focus. On Friday, we call it best of because we compile them all together. So a little bit of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday all piled into today. And Reebok was kind enough to gift us some prizes to give away to you guys at the end of the workout. We have a little challenge. We're going to give away a prize for the fastest mail time, female time, and then a random viewer. Okay, so make sure you guys... Get ready to post those results on the uh, Facebook thread that you guys see right to the side of this video. All right, let's check out how many viewers we got going on right now while you guys get ready. All right, guys. Now, we're going to go live here in about 45 seconds. So make sure you guys are creating those watch parties. We are going to give away another prize for largest watch party created for today. So go ahead and scroll down where you see that little blue bar that says create watch party and get all your friends involved and get them ready to rock and roll with you. All right, guys, now start looking down to the bottom left hand or right hand corner of that screen. You guys see that warm up. Now we're going to come to that towards the end. First, we got to just wake up. So right now, let's get started. Start bouncing around. All right, guys, now here's how we're going to start today. Just because you might be sore. You sore? Sore? All right, so let's start by just touching the ground, walking it out. At the end, try to tap as far as you can, walk in and stretch. Three, two, one, start now, go. All right, you guys have 30 seconds of just a basic walkout. Walk out, walk in, and stretch. Try to get as far out as you can at the bottom, reach as far up as you can at the top. All right, guys, now, this is our base, our foundation. We're gonna build off of this. So, what's gonna come next is, instead of walking out as far as you can at the bottom, I want you to add a push-up. Starting in three, two, now every time you get out there, push-up, walk in, stretch. Walk out, push-up, walk in, stretch. All right, team, here we go. Start waking that body up. Now, whether you've been with us every day this week, or you guys are just tuning in for the first time, okay? We make sure that we can get your whole body acclimated and ready for your workout in this warm-up. Next step, I want to add a jump at the top and make it a little bit more aerobic. Ready? Three, two, one. Add a jump at the top instead of a stretch. And now start going faster and faster. Great job. All right, guys. Now, we have one last puzzle piece. We're gonna get rid of the walkout and we're just gonna turn this into what we at NXPT call a four count. We're gonna go down, jump out, push up, jump in, jump up. So we're swapping the walkout for a jump out. In three, two, one. Down out, push up. In up, jump. 30 seconds and this will lay the base of today's warm up. All right, so here's how we do this. Wake your body up, practice the movements, and then at the end, do what you see on that screen, which is finalize your warm-up, stamp the approval, and get ready for your workout. All right, guys, I need jumping jacks as your rest time in five, four, three, two, and jumping jack. Hit it. Okay, now there's a couple movements today that we have to practice. One of them is going to be what we're doing for your lower body. We're going to start by just mastering a back lunge. So three, two, one, back lunge. Go. All right, now in the workout, there's two dynamics coming out with single leg focus. In circuit number one, we're gonna be doing a pistol squat. In circuit number two, we're gonna be doing a lunge thruster. So right now, you're just waking up those legs. 
But why did I say go? I want you to focus on one leg. And I want you to go back and try to balance as you come up and bring that knee up for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. One leg only. One leg only. Try to balance. Try to put all your body weight on that leg and get it ready to pistol squat and thrust somewhere in your workout. And all we're doing is switching legs in 15 seconds. Good job. Deep lunge, balance. Deep lunge, balance. Three, two, switch legs. Perfect. Okay, legs, check. Now let's move on to that upper body. Now you've already done a little bit of that push-up motion. What I want to do is just get you ready for the type of push-up you're going to do today. I want you to do what we call hand release. So whether you're on your knees or your toes, you're going to go down, and I want you to release your hands, press up for 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Drop down, and now hand release. Try to get your hands off, body off. Hands off, body off. Perfect. All right, guys, I want to create a little AMRAP now. Five by five. I want you to give me five of those lunges you just did, each leg. Then I want five of these hand release push ups, and I need it as many rounds as you can in 90 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Five each leg. Get all the blood flow down low. Then five hand release. Circulate that blood flow up high and start just conditioning. Start getting that sweat going. Start getting that internal temperature to rise. Perfect, Trainer Hanny. Perfect, Trainer Sam. Good job, Trainer Ryan. Great job, everybody at home. Let's go, Reebok. Let's go, NXPT. All right, guys. We got comments popping up. Watch party starting. Lorraine has got her watch party. Natalie's got her watch party. Emma, good morning, Larice. Good morning, John. Get it, Shermanator. Get it, Ann. Let's go, team. Let's go. All right, guys. Now, you have 45 seconds left. The goal is for you to get to the level where you're starting to feel fatigued, and then it's over. We're practicing the adversity you're going to hit once we get into that warm-up, or out of this warm-up into that workout. All right, 20 seconds. That jumping jack is our transition. All right, the next part of our warm-up is going to be on your back. So we're going to go jumping jacks in three, two, one, jumping jacks. And now make sure that you guys have something soft to lay on because now it's time to practice what you see on the screen. Now, we're going to be doing something called a dead bug. When your legs are up, you're going to use your hands and we're rolling from one shoulder to the other. It's a very minimal movement out of the torso, but you're just rolling back and forth on your abs. I want you to practice it for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, lie down, legs up, and dead bug, side to side. All right, so it's opposite hand to foot. You're rolling, try to create a rhythm, find that sequence where you can go shoulder, shoulder, back, forth. All right, trainers, that looks perfect. At home, you're figuring it out. Now, let's go even more broad on those abs. I want you to take this and I want you to lay all the way down, legs go all the way down, and come up and do a full alternating via. One leg and then the other leg, starting in three, two, one, and now make it your full leg up and down, all the way up and down. There we go. Let's get that pre-fatigue on. I want those abs to get a little bit tight, feel that burn, and get ready for your guys' workout. Perfect. All right, now if you were with us on Wednesday, one of the dynamics was a plank hold. We plank held in between every station in round two. I want one minute of plank holding while I describe how the end of your warm-up is going to go in five, four, three, flip over, and plank hold. All right, guys. Now it's time for the end of your warm-up. Now, this is a 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 sequence. It's a chipper. The movement you're going to do is the dead bug you just saw our trainers doing, okay? And it's one, one, two, two, all the way to 50. But in between every level, we're gonna do a kickboxing drill. So you're gonna be in your fight stance and we're gonna throw punches. One, one, two, two, all the way to 10. And then that back knee, we're gonna throw 10. You have to do both sides and then lie down. 50 dead bugs. Pop up, do your kickboxing, 40 dead bugs. Kickboxing, 30. Kickboxing, 20. Kickboxing, 10. And then you're done. Trainers, you ready? NXPT, you ready? Reebok, you ready? Three, two, one. Pop up and let's go. All right, guys. 
you have a four minute window to try to get all 150 dead bugs in all of your guys' 60 strikes and knees each side completed. All right, let's see it, ladies. Let's see it, gentlemen. Yeah. Good job. Get it, get it, get it. 50 dead bucks. Oh, side B. 50 dead bucks, baby. Let's go. Those look like beautiful dead bugs over here. Great job. Now you can see, once we created intensity, the trainers started moving their legs a lot, trying to get momentum, trying to get that same rhythm going. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. 50 is the highest number. 50 is the most difficult one. Once you get it done, it's 40 and then 30. It gets easier as you go, but you're more fatigued as you go. That's the catch. Great job, team. Pick a trainer. Try to stay on pace with them. Stay strong, stay focused, stay motivated. Great job. Trainer Haney's already back in his kickboxing drill. Great job, Luane. Get it, Nancy. All right, Team NXPT. Let's get it. Let's get it. Get those knees. Get those punches. And then get those dead bucks. Perfect work. Perfect work. All right, now listen, I gave you a four minute window, so that should have indicated how long we expect this to take. It has only been 90 total seconds. So our trainers are already working on their 40, it looks like. Make sure you guys are staying focused on doing it right, getting every rep, and whether you time out or finish is secondary to doing everything to the most perfect form possible. Get those knees up, throw those punches all the way out, drive that knee forward like you're aiming for a target just out of reach, and keep grinding. Let's finish this warm up so we can get to our workout and do what you came here for. Great job, Sammy. Throw those punches. Great job, Ryan. Throw those knees. Great job, Hannibal. Get those dead bugs. Great job, everybody at home. Keep working. Keep working. All right, right now we got 62 live viewers. After this warm-up, post in those comments. Let us know how many days you've been here. If you've been here every day with us this week. If you're sore. How many people are watching in your watch party. And if you have any questions or any need for modifications. Great job, team. All right, we just cleared your halfway mark. We're over two minutes in. You got less than two minutes left. Good job. All right, guys. Now use your punching in your knees as rest time for your core. Try to just snap them out there like wet towels. Relax. Use your step work, your footwork to keep it fluid. Let it flow. Those knees, try to skip into each one. Create a rhythm. Great job, Sam. Drive those knees up. Great job, Ryan. Keep working, guys. All right, now the mission is try to race the clock and see if you can finish. 90 seconds left as of right now. You got this, fight for it. Keep pushing, keep pushing. All right, Reebok, all right, NXPT. When this warm up is done, you're gonna get a water break. We're gonna explain round number one to you. And then that's where all the fun begins. That's where the weightlifting begins. Right now, I need you to focus on sprinting through that finish line. You have a visual of the finish line. It's your 10 dead bugs. Get there, burn through it, finish it, and walk away proud of what you've accomplished. Great job. Get it, Sammy. Get it, Ryan. Get it, Hannibal. Let's go, NXPC. Great job, team. All right, I love the speed of those knees. 
Find your reflection on something in your living room or your house or your garage. Watch your form. Get motivated by how fast you're throwing those punches, by how fast you're throwing those knees. And let's try to finish. Stay strong. All right, great job. Trainer Hannibal finished. He's getting water. Once you finish, you get water. Start posting in the comments. Let me know how many times this week you were here. Let me know what weight you chose. Let me know any questions you have. Great job, Sammy. Keep burning. You got it, guys. 30 seconds left. Woo! Got that done. Perfect. All right. Our trainers are all done. Finish strong. You still got 15 seconds left in your time cap. That music is still up. As it slowly goes down with the time, try to finish every rep possible. All right, guys. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and water. Great job. All right, guys. Now, great job, everybody. Round number one, okay, it just came up on the screen. Now, you guys are gonna be doing three minute intervals. So I'm gonna go through each station, there's three stations. Each one is three minutes long, and then there's a one minute transition between them where we're gonna do maximum effort output like we've been doing all week long. So trainer Ryan is gonna be my demonstrator here. Now, in station number one, you're doing all upper body. So we're gonna start with what he actually put us through on Monday, which is a bent row. So he could use a chair or a box, or right now he's using his own self-standing body weight, and he's got a split leg stance, and he's gonna row 10 times each arm, focusing on his lats. As Soon as he knocks that out, he's gonna go into a bicep curl. Now he's got a couple options. If your dumbbell's light enough, you can do single arm, you're gonna go single arm, 10 each arm. If it's so heavy you need double, he's gonna do that single dumbbell, double arm, 10 total. Once he's done with curls, he's gonna go tricep extension. So it's over the head and extend. Now, same concept here. If you have a lighter dumbbell, you could go single arm. If you need to and it's heavy, you go double arm. Now you have a three minute window to do as many rounds as you can. So as soon as that three minutes is up, I'm gonna say three, two, one, go, and he's gonna do maximum effort push-ups. Now, if you were with us on Wednesday, okay, we kept fighting for a number and trying to beat that number every time. He's gonna see how many push-ups he can do in one minute. How many did you do? 46, nice. So that's his number to beat when we get to round two. Now, station two, this is all on your back, no weights. He's gonna do side V-ups. He's gonna be on one side of his body, one shoulder, one hip, one heel, and he's coming all the way up, touching his toes. He's got 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Then he's gonna do 10 down the middle. And you're literally just gonna be rolling back and forth on your mat in your living room or your garage for three minutes straight, just nonstop beating up those abs. As soon as that's up, he's on his feet, and now this one minute max effort is squat. Max effort, how many can you get? Then the final station, and this one's tough. So you're gonna need a chair or a box or your sofa or an ottoman, or if you're somebody like trainer Ryan or Hannibal where you can do it freestanding, you can do it freestanding. It's a single leg squat. So he's using a box which you can simulate with anything you have that's a platform, and he's sitting down and standing up. We're gonna do 90 seconds per leg. So he's just gonna go up and down using that single leg. Now if you can, can you do freestanding pistols? Let's see. He's gonna do down and up using just his body weight. Nice, very nice. Put, the, put him on the spot there. All right, so whatever you have and you can do. Now, you're not done yet, sir. There's still one more max effort. We already did push up, we already did squat. That final max effort is gonna be our favorite exercise. Lie down, jump in, and jump up. One minute of burpees at the end before your water break. Got it? Good. All right, guys, get your living room set up. Get your weights out, get your platforms ready. Station one, we go row, curl, and tricep. Ladies and gentlemen, to your stations, and we start in three, two, one. Begin. All right, let's get it, Sammy. Let's get it, Hannibal. Let's get it, Ryan. Let's get it at home. All right, guys, I'm gonna step aside so you can watch these guys work. We're working heavy. We're working with perfect form, and we're working full range of motion. 10 each arm. Don't rush, this is not a race. 
I would rather you get three rounds at a decent weight with perfect form than 10 rounds of a lightweight with horrible form. There we go, perfect. Good. See how Sammy is stretched out on her platform, so is Ryan. Hannibal's using his arm or his leg as a base, and now he's going single dumbbell, single arm. That's 10 curls each arm. Good job. Trainer Ryan's got a little bit heavier options here, nothing too light, so he'll probably do one dumbbell, two arms. Good job, Sammy. There we go. Good job. All right, let's see those comments. Let's see who's been here every day. Let's see how you're feeling. Five days this week for Natalie, and it was her birthday week. Trang, good morning. Perry, good morning. Five days, super sore. Ann Baldridge, killing it. Jennifer, killing it. Great job. Heather, four days, awesome work. Quinn, let's go Phantom Q, you got this. All right, now, here's the mindset. Your arms, your triceps, your back are full of blood flow. They're getting so tired. You're wishing the time was up already. But just focus on the task at hand because in two minutes, that's how you're going to feel about your abs. And then three minutes later, that's how you're going to feel about your legs. So find peace, find rest in the movements you're doing right now. And then boom, three minutes later, focus changes and we move on. Good job. Watch Trainer Hannibal's stance. If you don't have anything at home to platform on, that's how you're gonna do it. Great job, Sammy. Overhead extension, those look perfect. There we go. Good job, Trainer Ryan, using that 100 pound dumbbell. All right, guys. Everybody at home, stay focused. You just hit more, or actually we're 45 seconds away from being done. 45 seconds away. All right, Hanny, I want you to finish all your curls and triceps. Sammy, I want you to try to get to your bicep curls. Trainer Ryan, I want you to finish your bicep curls. Get your rows, get to your curls. All right, now listen. All that blood flow is in your back, your posterior chain. Also your biceps and your triceps, but you have a one minute maximum effort and it is so important we know your number. From your toes or your knees, pick one and stick with it and I need to know how many you get in one minute? You have five, four, three. Ladies and gentlemen, put the weights down, get down, and get moving. Let's go. How many can you get? How many can you get? All right, when we did this earlier this week, we talked about strategy. My strategy was to do as many as I could in a row and then break it up into three or five rep increments. What's your strategy? What makes you go further over that one minute period? Great job, team, great job. Great job, team, great job. All right, 15, 14, we gotta know this number. Fight for a little bit more. All you're doing is rolling over when I say go. We got side V up in five, four, last repetition, time. Remember that number. All right, station two, here we go. Side V-ups, let's get it. All right, you're laying on one side. Your bottom arm is your platform, push down on it. And you guys are going side V, 10 on each side. And then middle, full v up. 10. All right, you got a three minute window. Let's roll around a little bit, shall we? Let's go. Seventy-five live viewers at the moment. Killing it. Whether you're in San Diego, whether you're in Italy like Layla, like Chrissy, whether you're in Washington, whether you're in San Francisco, no matter where you are in the world, we're all getting stronger together right now. There we go. We had somebody yesterday in London. We have Kelsey and Russell in Australia. Crushing it, killing it. Let's go Team NXPT. Let's go Team Reebok. All right. Now it sounded like you had way too long of a time, right? Three minutes to do this, but you're already halfway there. And you're just now working on round two. Let's shoot for four rounds. Let's try to get into three, 
finish three and start four. Come on. Remember a minute ago, your arms were so heavy. Your back was so tired. Now it's all abs. Now guys, we're going into maximum effort squats next. So I want you to make sure you got those heels under your hips, your toes are flagged out, and we're tracking those knees over those toes. Keep your back straight and use your arms as momentum. Throw them up, throw them back, and just rep, 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 rep. How many can you get? A target goal ratio-wise is 20 reps more than your push-ups. If you got 40 push-ups, you should get 60 squats. If you got 30 push-ups, you should get 50 squats. All right, guys, you got 38 seconds left. How many more VMs can we get, Trainer Sammy? How many more can we get, Ryan? Great job, team. Great job. Quarantine or no quarantine. Every day we wake up and every day we progress. All right. We have 19, 18, 17 seconds. Guys, I want you to fight to finish the side you're working on. Try to get to the middle. Now, if you're working on the middle, don't go back to the side. Just keep going in the middle so that we stay balanced. All right, guys, here we go. I want you up on your feet, ready for those squats. In five, four, three, two. All right, up on your feet, ready, squats, begin. You got one minute maximum effort. All right, now, Trainer Haney, Trainer Sam, and Trainer Ryan, they've been here all week, so they know what number they got earlier this week. What number are they gonna get today? What number are you gonna get today? Let's make it the highest number it's ever been. You got this, team. You got this. All right. Incredible work. Great job, Mariana. Nicely done. Let's go, John. You got this. Get it, Tony. Nicely done, Michael. Come on. Fight for more. Squats are different than push-ups. You can rest while still adding up reps. Let gravity do the work. Let gravity pull you down. All you got to do is stand up. Gravity, stand up, and just keep that going. Great job, Sammy. Great job, Ryan. Great job, Hannibal. All right, while you work, just a reminder what's coming next. Pistol squats. Now, when I explained it, I said we were going to stick with one leg, but I want to change that to alternating legs. That way you never have to think about a number. You have four, three, two, one. Find your ottoman, couch, chair, wherever you're doing it. And you have a three minute window right now to take your time with perfect form and add up pistol squats. Down and up with one leg, lifting your body weight. Now let's say you are modifying, like Ryan using the chair, but you want to make it harder so you can add a weight to your single leg pistol so you're lifting more than just your body weight but you don't have to worry about the balance and stability of not having a platform. Good. Trainer Sammy's gonna do the same thing. She's gonna add extra weight. She's very strong. If you've been doing power sculpt yoga with us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you see this woman never runs out of energy or strength. Good job, Trainer Hannibal. All the way down and up. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I got good news, Trainer Ryan. It's only been one minute. You still got two minutes left. He's so happy I made him pick up that dumbbell. Great job. All right. Everybody watching that is not familiar with how NXPT does things, there is one exercise above all exercises. We call it our favorite exercise because if you're ever in one of our classes and you hear the word burpee, you have to scream, I love burpees. Or very bad things happen thereafter. So we call it your favorite exercise, and that's what's coming next. You guys have 90 seconds remaining to add these bad boys up. And then we're gonna go down, lay flat to the ground, jump in and jump into the air. It's as many reps as you can. This is a max effort. At the end of this round, I'm gonna say, how many push-ups did you get? 35, okay. How many squats did you get? 62, okay. How many burpees did you get? 19, okay, good. Those are your baseline. We're gonna beat those in round two. I need you to make sure you count. Great job, stay focused. Keep working hard. Also, I wanna know, are you doing your pistol squats with a platform? Are you doing it with a platform and extra weight? Are you doing it with no platform? 
Okay, write it in the comments when this round is over. Guys, you got 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Go Haney, go. Great job team. Great job everybody. All right, the end of round one. Your water break is after a one minute maximum effort of total body output. Your burpee and you have seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, begin. Time is rolling. Time is rolling. Your upper body, tired. Your abs, tired. Your legs, tired. What can we do while we're tired? You have to train while you're tired because that's when you get stronger. We work so hard to get outside your comfort zone because only when you work outside your comfort zone will you get results. Let's go Trainer Hannibal, let's go Trainer Ryan, let's go Trainer Sam, let's go NXBT, let's go Reebok. Everybody at home, drop, pop, drop, pop. It's only a minute, it's only one minute. I'll tell you when it's over, I'll tell you when it's over. Fight for it guys, fight for it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, in 10 seconds, you get a water break. Don't you stop, don't you put those hands on your hips, don't you look around. You got five, four, three, two, and one, and one. Incredible work. All right, let's recap some numbers. While you guys are getting water at home, write in the comments, push-up, squat, and burpee number. Trainer Haney, what'd you get push-up? 45, is that higher than Wednesdays? Way higher, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's progress, baby. Squats. Nice, and then burpees? Nice, okay, 26 burpees, 53 squats, and 45 push-ups. All right, guys. Now, as you get water, as you catch your breath, or as you're still lying on the floor and getting ready to stand up and get water and catch your breath, let's talk about round number two. Now, station one is gonna be a combination of some things we did on Monday and some things we did yesterday. Now, Trainer Haney's gonna demonstrate with a dumbbell and then we're gonna do another demonstration with the kettlebell. The first movement is a clean and press. So legs wide, he starts with the kettlebell or dumbbell between the legs and he cleans and presses using his hips as shock absorbers for each one. Pop, pop, it's all power through the hips. Now I want you to alternate so that you don't have to worry about counting too much except it's just 10 total, okay, it's 10 total. So one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 10. As soon as he gets that, he's gonna do 10 sumo high pulls. So he's demonstrating with a dumbbell, you can do double grip on it. If it's a lighter dumbbell, you can do single arm, make sure you do 10 each side, or if you have a kettlebell, it's very easy because that's what the kettlebell is made for. Now, you're gonna do an AMRAP, 10 by 10, for three minutes. When the time is up, you're gonna repeat your max effort push-up. If you're Hannibal Smith, your number to beat is 45. He's shooting for 45 and a half. 46, whatever he can do. Then station two. Now station two is a low to high chop. So you're gonna go low to one side, high to the other, and you have 10 in that direction, and then you're gonna go 10 in the other direction. And you're gonna keep repeating the process. Once that's done, we have a one minute max effort where we repeat the squat. He did 45 squats, I'm sorry, 53 squats, so now his goal is 54 squats, or to tie it. And then the last one is gonna be something that Trainer Hannibal made up yesterday called a lunge thruster. So he's got dumbbell or kettlebell loaded on the same leg stepping back. As he comes forward with all that energy, he extends overhead. Now this one, we are gonna do one minute per side just so you don't have to worry about wasting time switching back and forth, okay? So it's gonna be one side until I tell you to switch sides. All right guys, that's round number two. Everybody, get to your piece of equipment. Get everything set up and let's get ready to rock. Now before I hit start, I just want to see some of these comments just in case people need modifications. All right, everybody looks good. Everybody's got great feedback. All right, guys, ready to rock and roll. All right, and we begin in three, two, and one. Let's go. All right, guys, now you have 10 total clean and press so that's five each arm 
Make sure that you guys are lifting something heavy enough to challenge you. Make sure that you guys are focusing on using your hips. Great job. You can do five in a row on one arm, five in a row on the other if you want. Just 10 total. Followed by sumo high pull. Squat to the ground. Come up, elbows over the shoulder line. Good job, team. Perfect. Great job. All right. Everybody looks good. Perfect sumo high pull, Sam. Perfect sumo high pull, Trainer Hannibal. All right, let's get it, Ryan. All right, let's get it, team. Clock is rolling. You're working. We're getting stronger. All right, Dorothy, killing it. Using an ottoman and an eight kilogram kettlebell. Nice work. Larice, been working out with us every day. Woo. All right. Awesome work, Katie. Awesome work, John. All right, try to finish your round number two, guys. Try to finish your round number two. Now keep track of your number. Keep counting. But I want you right now to start thinking about how many push-ups did you do in round number one? How many push-ups did you do? Think about it, because you have to try and beat that in 30 seconds. Finish all those clean and press. Nicely done, team. Nicely done. Use those hips. Try to bounce up your waist, bounce up your clean, bounce up your press. All right, everybody, 15 seconds, and I need you on the ground. Perfect work, Team NXPT. All right, guys, here we go. In 10, 9, 8 seconds, how many push-ups do you need to do? 3, 2, 1, let's do it. All right, here we go, Sam. More than before. Here we go, Hannibal. More than before. Here we go, Ryan. More than before. Everybody at home, at the gym, at your garage, in your office, more than before. All right, John, that means I need more than 38 push-ups. Valeria, I need more than 15. Dorothy, I need more. Natalie, I need more than 45. Go, baby, go. Three. Focus on a strategy. Two at a time, one at a time, three at a time, five at a time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six seconds. And in three, two, done. All right, stand up. All right, guys, pick up your weights. Right into it, low to high, low to high. 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Work those abs. In round one, you guys were rolling from side V to side V to full V. Now we're chopping low to high. Let that top shoulder dip on the way down. Let that bottom shoulder curl on the way up. Perfect, Sammy. Perfect, Ryan. Great job, everybody. Stay focused, stay strong. Take big, deep inhales and exhales. Try to reset your breathing. You've been working nonstop now. Pushing up, cleaning and pressing. Sumo high, sumo high pull. Right now I need you to reset your breathing. Use this as an opportunity to catch your breath. Great job, everybody. All right, one minute down. You got one minute to go. In one minute, you will be doing your maximum squats. Fifty six people changing their body, changing their life, getting stronger with every rep that goes by. Incredible work, team. Great job, Craig. Great job, everybody at home. Great job, Dana. Great job, Dawood. Let's go, baby. Push it. Faster, deeper, higher, lower. Pick the weight back up. Set it down, shake it out, pick it right back up. Don't allow yourself to stay in that zone, that comfort zone. Fight for every rep you can. 25 seconds of effort left. You're so close. Sammy, you're doing incredible. Great job, team. Great job. All right, NXPT. Maximum squats in seven, six, five, four, three. Weights down. 
and squat it out. Here we go. How many can we get? Trainer Haney, you're trying to beat 53. Trainer Sam, you're trying to beat your number. Trainer Ryan, trying to beat your number. At home, beat your number. Crystal, beat your number. Natalie, beat your number. Natalie said she got 60. Natalie, get all the way down and up. Valeria, 31, you gotta give me 32. John Stevens, let's go, baby. Get it, Katie. Good job, Cornell. Keep fighting, keep working. Go, Emma, go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you are 19 seconds away from your final movement. One arm, one leg, lunge, come up and thrust. You have one minute per side. Finish all the squats you can. All the squats you can. Five, four, three, two, done. Okay, pick up your weight. Pick it up. Whatever arm that is, that same leg is going back and driving up. Back, drive up. One minute per side. One minute per side. Start now. Start now. Now, if your dumbbell's very heavy, like Trainer Hannibal or Trainer Rise, you can do double arm on a single weight. He's still using one leg, and he's driving up. He's just holding it with both hands. Great job, guys. Stay strong. There you go. Perfect. Try to, as you come out of that lunge, drive right into the thrust. 20 seconds left on this leg. Keep going. Keep going. 15 seconds. Couple more. Go, Jeanette. Go, Dana. Couple more. Five, four, three. Arm change, leg change. Other side. Other side. All right, guys. Now you have one minute left. One minute remaining. Balance out those sides. Balance out those arms and legs. Everybody looks straight. All right. Now for the good news, the last test, one minute maximum effort, is your favorite exercise. How many did you do in round one? We got to beat that in round two. One minute on the clock, as many favorite exercises as you can fit in. And you have 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. All right, Natalie, I need more than 15. Dorothy, I need more than 18. Crystal, I need more. You guys ready? Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Everything we've got. More than 11, more than 15, more than your last number. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Andy. Let's go, Brienne. Let's go, Marcy. Let's go, Mary. Let's go, Christian. Go, Eileen. Nice work. Get it, Debbie. Get it, Gabe. Let's go, Michelle. Ellison, get it. Zumarita, get it. Carla, let's go, girl. You got this. Heather, keep fighting. Paulina, keep fighting. Casey, let's fight for it. You got this. All right, Jenny, make sure you and Matt are working as hard as you can. Selena, vamanos. You got this. All right, NXPT, water break in 12, 11, 10 seconds. I want every rep you could possibly get. Every rep you could possibly get. And in four, three, two, one. That's a wrap. Water. Hold on, don't walk off screen so quickly. Let's use you, Trainer Sammy. I haven't picked on you today yet. Great job, first of all. How many push-ups? 35, how many squats? 43, how many burpees? 17, That's, those are all your highest numbers. All right, good job, get some water. All right, now, as you look to the bottom of our screen right here, you're gonna notice a quick change up. Welcome to the result round. Now, this is where we're giving away our prizes. Now, I misspoke at the beginning of the video. Our three prizes are gonna be largest watch party, and then a random pick, and then the highest score. So make sure you guys are working with integrity on this one, okay? Right now, as you guys are kind of shaky, type into the comments in your watch party and on our page right here, 
how many push-ups you got, maximum, the highest number, how many squats you got, and how many burpees you got. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put a five minute clock on our timer. So you had one minute each to do those. So that would be three minutes total, right? So I'm giving you two minutes essentially of extra time. What you have to do is you have to do your number. So if I'm Sammy, Sammy, come back out here. Remind me your numbers. I have to do how many push-ups? Yes. 35. So Sammy does 35 push-ups. Then she stands up and she does 43 squats. Then she does 17 burpees. Then she's done and she can begin. Down on the ground, feet together, lay all the way flat, sit all the way up. One rep is shoulders touch and then hands touch, not your shoes, but the ground in front of your shoes. So this right here, those aren't reps at NXPT. Those are, I'm in my comfort zone and I'm trying not to get stronger. This is a full repetition of, oh man, these are way harder than what I normally do. I'm getting results. How many sit-ups can you get? Following your maximum number. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to find out. Get your body ready. Get your open area ready. You got a five minute clock and it's about to go off. Start with push-ups. Go to squats. Finish with burpees. Three, two, one, let's go. All right, your number. Not his, not hers, not his, not mine. Your number, what is it? Do it. Let's go. Team Reebok, Team NXPT, stronger together. We are coming out of this quarantine fitter, healthier, more resources. Our community stronger than it's ever been. A network of trainers and people that you're working out with online. Greater and stronger and more tight in than it's ever been before. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Fight for those results. Fight for that next level. Get all your push-ups. Nice. You guys just beat your push-ups and it's only been 45 seconds. Killing it. What people will do for prizes is incredible. Let's go. Let's go, Michelle Turpak, you got this. Veronica, let's work hard. Vicky, you got this, get your number. All right, Savannah. Paulina, get your numbers and get to work. Marlene, all the way up and down, all the way to your number. Let's see that sit-up number at the end. Come on, Andy, show me what you got, man. Let's go. Casey and Brett, working out at home. Owners of Pure Meal Prep SD, next week's sponsor for Best Of. Let's go, guys. You got this. Strong body and mind. Gabe working right alongside Mary. Let's see who can get the highest sit-up number. Let's go, Debbie. Greg, all the way out in Colorado, baby. Let's go. All right. We got Eileen down in Mexico. We got Russell out in Australia. Woo. All right, Star, welcome. Her first day with us, working out online. All right, Melissa, get your number, girl. 30, 33, and 15, and get to work. Woo! Go, Dorothy. Sixty-three people live right now, squatting, doing burpees, doing push-ups, changing their body, changing their life. Killing it, great job. Go Sammy, go. Hard work, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it's done. There are no shortcuts. It's hard work from start to finish. Put in the work, get the reward. Plain and simple. Sammy's already on her sit up Go Sammy, go. All right. Let's go step on that gas pedal. We have exactly two minutes left as of right now. That's 120 seconds. Finish those push-ups, check. Finish those squats, check. Finish those burpees in process. Come on, embrace that process. Great job, Craig, get those sit-ups. All right, Sammy, I want your number so high. Just down up, down up. Come on, nobody beats Sammy today. Nobody beats Sammy today. All right, Trainer Ryan. Now he's in the running. You got some catching up to do. Let's see it. Woo! 
pick a trainer, keep on pace with them. 120, one minute, 20 seconds left. You got this, you got this. All right, trainer Hannibal has now entered this hat in the running for as many sit-ups as possible. 55 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, team. Come on, team. Just lose yourself. Down, throw. Down, throw. Down, throw. Use your arms as momentum and grind. Push, push. 35 seconds left. Sammy, highest number ever, girl. Let's go. Let's go. Trainer Ryan, touch and go. Touch and go. Come on, at home. I know it's burning, but it's working. You're so close to that finish line. 19, 18, 17. You got 16 seconds left. All right, guys, and in five, four, three, two, done. No more sit-ups. Nope, that one doesn't count. Nope, that one doesn't count. Nope, that one doesn't count. <laughs> three no reps for Trader Hannibal Smith. Whoo! What we get, sir? 37. What we get, miss? 52. What we get, sir? 33, yeah, baby. Woo! All right. All right, guys. Now, when you post for your uh, opportunity to win the prizes, I need to see a screenshot right now of your watch party. How many people are in your watch party? Okay, that's how we're going to prove you have the biggest watch party. Screenshot it, post it in the comments. If for some reason that doesn't work, post it on your Facebook page and tag NXPT Fit as well as Reebok Gas Lamp SD. And then, for those of you with the score, post your push-up, squat, burpee number, and then your sit-up number, okay? And that way we can make sure across the board the playing field is, le is even and level. All right, let's stretch it out, cool it down, and get ready to clap it out. Get those legs nice and wide. All right, guys, start to just rotate your body. So much core this week, so much intensity. All right, lean forward, pulling those elbows up. All right, come all the way back up to the top. Okay, now as we stop, catch an arm across that chest. Incredible work, everybody. Roll that wrist out while you hold it there. Okay, switch to the other side. Roll that wrist out. Okay, and now arms up overhead. Step your legs together. And now dive as deep for those toes as you can. All right, guys, continue reaching your arms down as you roll your spine up nice and slow. Shoulders relaxed. Roll your neck one direction and now the other direction. And now, guys, head on straight. Shake and clap. Great job, NXVT and Reebok. That's a wrap. All right, so Reebok. Great work, everybody. Make sure you guys follow and like at No Excuses or at NXPT Fit, as well as start uh, checking in with us every day at 7 a.m. We go live here and we work out. And then at 8.15, we go live with yoga. On Tuesday, Thursday, that's Power Sculpt Yoga. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it's a Vinyasa Flow. And then Saturday, we always have a workout challenge. This Sunday, we have a virtual 5K, 10K, half marathon, and full marathon we're doing, and we've collected local sponsors of small businesses that are all pitching in discounts and ways to get you guys cool products and food and merchandise at a discount while supporting our small businesses during this time of need. So go to our Facebook page so you can see the invite on that and make sure that you guys check in every day with us. Post those scores in the comments. Have a great weekend. We love you. Stronger together.